What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. And moving on to another question, dealing with triangles. This is a pretty cool, unique one, sort of tricky. So what we gotta do is solve for x in this diagram over here. So we have an x plus five representing this side, and then we have an x plus one representing that side. We got an angle of 24 degrees, an angle of 32 degrees. So notice that there's not too much going on here to work with, but the one thing to notice is that this side over here, notice how it's common to both triangles. So we have this large triangle here, but then also notice that we have two separate right angle triangles, right? This is a right angle right here. And both of those triangles share this side and we can call this side, let's call it H to represent the height, doesn't matter which variable you use. And so if I redraw these, actually let's redraw them over here. So if I redraw these triangles separately, just so you can see it a little more clear, we have this triangle that has this side H, X plus five, and it has this angle, 24 degrees. And then we have this triangle over here, which this is H, this is 32 degrees, and then this side here is x plus one. And so now notice that we can set up ratios here because we have, for example, if we look at this triangle, if we look at this angle, well, this h here, notice that it's the opposite side. And then notice the x plus five, it's the hypotenuse because it's opposite to the 90 degree angle. And which ratio deals with opposite and hypotenuse? Well, the sine ratio, so we can say, sine of 24 equals h over x plus five, like that. And then same thing here, we got this angle of 32 degrees. Well, notice that the h is also the opposite side. And then notice that this x plus one is the hypotenuse. Because So we can create another ratio right there where sine of 32 is equal to h over x plus one, like that. Now, remember, what are we solving for? We're solving for the x value. That's what we're trying to solve for. But notice that we introduced this new variable for this side, this common side between the triangles h. And now notice that we actually have two equations that we set up and then two unknowns, the h and the x. And so technically now what we can do is solve for h and x with substitution or elimination, right? Two equations, two unknowns. Now, what I'm gonna do to do that is actually isolate for the H in both of these. So if I cross multiply, one times H would give us H, and then we'll have this sine 24, and then we'll have this X plus five, like that. And I'm just gonna leave it like this. You can get the decimal value if you want of sine 24, put it here. I'm gonna leave it as sine 24 for now. And then over here, I'm gonna cross multiply this. One times H would give us H and then we'll have sine of 32 times that x plus one like that. So from here, what we can do is now h is equal to this, h is also equal to that, so we can make both of those equal because both of them are gonna equal h. So we can say, okay, sine of 24 bracket x plus five is equal to sine of 32 bracket x plus one. And now notice we have one equation to solve with one unknown with this x value over here. And then what I'm gonna do is for the sine 24, I'm gonna put in this decimal. If you put sine 24 in your calculator, you'd get approximately 0.41. If you round to two decimal places, you could round this to more decimal places if you want. I'll just keep it at two. Then sine of 32, it's approximately 0.5. And so from here, it just becomes an equation to solve, right? So we distribute in the bracket. So 0.41 times x gives us 0.41x. 0.41 times 5 would give us 2.05 like that. And then over here, we'd end up with 0.53x. 0.53 times 1 would give us 0.53 like that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the 0.53 over. And I'm also going to bring over the 0.41. So we'll have 0.53x minus 0.41x like that. 
And so we'd end up with what right here, we'd end up with 1.52, uh, like that. 0.53 minus 0.41 would give us 0.12x like that. Okay, and then to isolate for the x, we just divide both sides by 0.12, and that's gonna give us the x by itself. And when you do that algebra there, 1.52 divided by 0.12, you'd get approximately an x value of 12.7, like that, right? If we round it to two or to one decimal place. Okay, so that ends up being the solution for this question. This x value here, would be 12.7, right? So it'd be 12.7 plus five. So the length of this side would be 17.7. X plus one, the length of that side would be 13.7. So fairly tricky question. What you got to recognize is we got this side that is in both triangles, and then we can create some ratios. We got two equations, two unknowns, and then we just have to solve for that X value. So I isolated for the H in both of these, then made them equal, brought in the decimals, and then just solve the equation.